you want me to say? You're reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? <laughs> A new one told story episode three hundred and thirty-four. Yes. What? Yeah. Yeah. This is my first time getting yeah, it. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah, three thirty-four. Three three four. Um, I have a cough drop in my mouth. I'm sorry if you're hearing me sucking on that, or if you're seeing me. I'm, I don't it's, it taste good, but uh, I'm all fucked up. You done dirty by mold? I think I'm getting fucked by mold, dude. Come on, have, mold. Dude, have you seen, dude, The Last of Us. I no, it's very believable especially in New York, but you sh- that can't be your downfall. I think it I sw- I promise you I've never felt like I was down. I've never had a s- health scare. You've been until. all fucked up. I've been all fucked up. You can tell in your voice. Yeah, I'm dizzy. I'm coughing. Dizzy? I'm coughing up like pitch black. Um, you're coughing up pitch black. Yeah, it's like um, like the Mountain Dew. No, I'm coughing up like Vanta black, like that black where you can shine a flashlight in. You don't even see the light. The blackest of black. Coughing up black. Yeah. The second that happened, yeah, rest in the sweetest peace. Thanks, brother. <laughs> no, the the this is my second health scare. My first one was when I like uh, I puked so hard, like I I, I puked myself into a nosebleed once, and that scared me. Oh man, but coughing up black is that's very grim. Uh, it's um, it's the darkest of blacks that I'm coughing up, yeah. Fuck. Well I pretend pretend to have like a longer version of COVID. That's what you did. Just make that up. And then <laughs> dude, yeah. and what you did was you were miserable and I had to try my best, probably unsuccessfully, to carry this show for like two months. Uh huh. And then you came back to baseline and now people are just suckling at the teat. Yeah, I mean it's it's a <laughs> night and day difference, but you're yeah, fu- are you when firing I was, when I was faster like, than you once were? I don't, I don't think, but when I was like, I was just like tired, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna pretend like my COVID didn't go away, dude. Then I realized that's a whole community of people. They call they called themselves long COVID long haulers. So that, that was worked you. perfectly. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a thing. Yeah, I have long COVID, <laughs> dude. Yeah, you. You had me like so concerned about like your well being, and then it just turned out that you were a sleepy head. I think I just got sad. <laughs> I just experienced like menial depression for a few weeks. Yeah, um, I'm. I don't know. I think mine's more than sad because I've never been sad enough to cough up like a shadow. But that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm doing. Um. You know when the mummy lets out all those like mosquitoes? Yeah, that's me and my it's the sink only every scene I remember. No, you remember the guy getting s- s- absolute shit sucked out? Yeah, of him. even even more vividly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so I remember two <laughs> scenes. But oh shit, um, <gasps> dude, dude, that just, might be the perfect movie because like movies, I don't think should, are, should be made to be like thinkers or good. It should just be like movies should be the equivalent of like going on a roller coaster. Yes, fun. I love that movie. The Beatles scene yeah. fucked me up. Oh, yeah. Under the skin. Yeah. Yeah. Those things rocked. Yeah. Scarab is used in crossword puzzles a lot. Scarab? Mm-hmm. What does that mean? Unless I'm, it's the bug that goes under your skin, but it's like an Egyptian okay. bug. Yeah, like the one you, you would lick a, an envelope and everyone would be like, oh, uh, maybe not lick that envelope because there's a chance... Spider eggs? That there's spider eggs. And they, and they told us this, that you would lick the envelope and the the sticky portion would have spider eggs. Yeah, I remember that. In, you would swallow it, ingest it. The spider eggs would grow in your skin and hatch in your skin. You would have, have like spiders, spiders crawl. crawl yeah, that was a real fear in seventh grade. <laughs> um, I need to do a little bit. I like that we're calling this housekeeping. Um, Just a shout out to some boys. Mm. Shout out to Morty the Knife Man. He sent me about 50 knives and no he way. made them himself. Shout out Wait, Morty the Knife Man. Morty the Knife Man? And all, the blades all say Morty the Knife Man. So you have 50 more? I probably am at like 78. Okay. Right now. I'm still comfortable. Shout out to Otis. Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> yeah. 
Shout out to Parlay Vintage in Philadelphia. They got a special one. Mm-hmm. And shout out to Wes. And all these guys have all used puns. These knives are a cut above the rest. <laughs> you kind of just breeze through some of them. Nikki, stay sharp. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, these guys all sent you knives? And I have some to point out. Boys. All right, I'll go through the... I'll go through some of them. You know who's Because I brought about 50 home. Brawley's Ooh. sending knives, by the way. Yeah? Yeah, he, he DM'd me. For, oh, follow... Uh, I found Brawley's Instagram. Um... He, he's been a quadruple for two years now. He was yep. celebrating his two-year anniversary. Shout out, Raleigh. Yeah. Celebrate. <laughs> yeah, was, no, he's probably, that's probably the best place to be in your tenure as a, para, a quadriplegic is two years in. Yeah. That's the most optimistic he'll ever be. No, he just, he's good. He, he realizes he doesn't need to reinvent the wheel. How else would he get around? <laughs> but, <laughs> right yeah, back yeah. at him. <laughs> um, first things first. Who got knives? So that implies the existence of an ugly guy knife. Okay, yep, I see what you're saying. You think the opposite of cool is ugly? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, what? (laughs) That was the first thing that came to my head. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. I guess so. (laughs) Take off that leather jacket so you look ugly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I I view the world. Damn, that is cool. That's cool. Motorcycle. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. I'm, this one's fine. You can send ones like this. Oh, you have like parameters and rules like f- you won't accept some. This one, it's got a wolf with two tractor trailers. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Here's where it gets iffy. This one oh. is from the Maasai tribe in Kenya. <laughs> counts oh yeah that's just straight from kenya yeah the maasai tribe definitely iffy iffy this one's a felony (laughs) you can't have this in new york (laughs) you can't have this one in new york ripping out of your backpack yeah it's longer than a jan sport (laughs) where can you have that yeah this is a felony so the boys have been sending me felonies but who said that this one (laughs) I believe is from Wes. No, wait, it might be from Otis. But what? Oh, I was stoked God. to get this at first. Until. Sweet. No, no. You get to the engraving. The Confederate States of America. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Yeah. <laughs> it's got uh, the flag you'd expect. Uh, it's uh, got some guys leading a charge in Stone Mountain, Georgia. And I'm afraid of where this knife has been. I'm afraid of who this knife has been in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the, yeah. Statistically, it is it is pierced melanin. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel that's I, a, that's the that's the coolest thing in the world, though. And I, it's not <laughs> even a political stance. The size, the shape, the ornate designs. The but I can't. This is this what is an actual. You can't? This is so a you're not ex- felony. you're not accepting felonies. I can I how am I going to accept felonies? I want to be able to vote. I want to be able to buy a piece when I move. Okay. But you have no. Don't don't I'm going to get to 200 so fast. I know and I'm very fast. Also what, what? the rub of it is like how do you even dispose of that? Because if you hide it then that implies more guilt, but you also can't display it. And yeah. You can't really throw it in the garbage. I I mean cuz I don't want somebody else to find it and then just be like committing crimes with it. And what you, yeah, you can't it? you can't discard of that you, you cannot can't, you discard can't it. smelt it no you certainly can't smelt it <laughs> yeah it's uh so stoked when I saw the packaging oh it's even got the emblem right here <laughs> can't even hide it I'll give it to Brandon now what are you gonna <laughs> He's do gonna with say these? I already have one yeah yeah what are you gonna do with these now you're gonna hang them up so we've gotten a text from Hank of how we want the new Ana studio to look right. I want I want us to be sitting in front of a wall of knives. I think the backdrop, and we have complete creative control, mm-hmm. should be, yeah, you're 200 knives if you ever reach that milestone. I mean, you're doing quality over quantity right now. I'm getting you're knives from it. Maasai tribesmen, the Maasais of Kenya. <laughs> yeah, who sent that? A rollerblader? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. That, so. Yeah, that one looks like it. That was definitely used. This one's probably... 
been used in like I think it's killed. Oh, for mm. sure. Mm -hmm. So the bet again, right? If you get to two hundred, KB has to DJ a gig. He has to DJ a gig. Okay. What if you get to two hundred and then lose a couple knives and go under two? I think as soon as you get to, it's like being a marine. Once a marine, always a marine. Got it. Yeah, and I and I'll DJ a gig regardless. Are you getting there? I think I'm getting there. What if I told you somebody in this room is better? It's Mal Malisak. He has some. No, he's mixed up. He's, he's mashed, mashed up some up. SoundCloud yeah. jams, and I've heard them. They're, they're good, but I, are you also? I'm, somebody told me to call you out. Are you ripping off the Zac Efron movie one for one? <laughs> this is not the movie where he plays a DJ. What else would I be talking about? Because that Charlie, that's, that's, Saint we are Cloud. your. That's, we are your friends. Yeah, you're ripping off Charlie Saint Cloud. You have your dead. <laughs> what, you what do you mean, brother? What, what am I ripping off? The way that you control the crowd, and that's how you do it. Oh, yeah, I guess then. But I'm. Well, I'm have you I'm seen the movie? I've seen the movie. I don't know what he mean. He, Are I, you ripping? Is that a line I from the movie? I can control the crowd. Is that a line? I don't know. I've never seen the movie. That is a line from the movie. What do you, you mean? Said, you said what that, do you mean I'm ripping him off? You just said that line verbatim. All of, all of my productions are, are original. <laughs> the, that wasn't a production. That was a thing you said. That I say, oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I did. Um, but I am improving. I'm staying low key, which is hard in this industry to like yeah, my transition game is fire. Is it? Yeah. Charlotte Climber fire. <laughs> it's getting better. Wait, um, wait, Charlotte I, Climber. Who, I'm working was... out some kinks. She was it was like Charlie Climber went to Charlotte, Charlotte Climber. Yeah. yeah. Fast. <laughs> um, I, I do have flaws and I want honest feedback when I whenever I release a track or drop a track or tease a track, tr tease an ID, any of that. I want honest feedback and I, I want to know like what. What I could realistically do as a DJ. I think you could you could sell tickets. I just want to I want to get some gigs, but I, I liked I the album artwork of your previous one. and I think that was your name on the album artwork. It said KB did what? Yeah, that's a good mm -hmm, DJ name. Mm -hmm. KB did what? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. it's sweet. Um, explain the fit. Yeah, I don't. It's a lot to unpack. Cozy. Yeah, it's fine. Do you want me to play my song? <laughs> Do you want to play your song? <laughs> really badly. Uh, wait, I was you'll be able to buy to KB tickets. Uh, at Game Time, the Game Time app. We love it. We use it a lot. It's on my phone. It's on Kyle's phone. It's on Rudy's phone. Mook, I'm sure, too. I haven't looked. Um, it's created by fans for fans. Game Time is a new ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows. They guarantee the lowest price. They crack the code on how to score last minute deals. It's possible with the Game Time app, the biggest last minute price drops that can be found on seats that you could never buy. Uh, I used it to get Billy Joel tickets for my mom. Is she going solo? I, no. Yeah. Let me um, know. <laughs> she'll be here. In, Billy and my mom will both be here uh, in May. Uh, pur the purchase process takes just two taps and 10 seconds. And once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text. So you can get to the game seamlessly. Skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to the website. Enter your email and redeem code UNTOLD for $20 off your mm. first purchase. Terms do apply. It's the turn of the season. It's spring. It's event season. Concerts, the like, any summer, any spring slam or summer fest. And if you have a significant other or you have a salary or a group of friends, then you get, get on the ticketing now. I'm going to Morgan Wallen at MetLife. <laughs> mm -hmm. As you're holding that up. <laughs> As I'm holding the can, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who you going? You're going to who you going to a Morgan Wallen concert with? I got it for my girlfriend. Oh, she a Wallen guy? What? Girl, she a Wallen guy? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which is another pill to swallow. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. but I, I, I think I think his music is fine. Yeah, and I will enjoy it. Um, you're gonna be like a Riley Cooper there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got? Where where should we start? I have some news um, that I really need help with because I've been way out of it. I went right after the yak. I've just been going home, low to bed. 
or going to my dad's and going that's to the couch. The, uh, I, that, that sucks because of your situation, but that is an ideal schedule if you get better. Oh, yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I need to stop just sticking around here. You do. And you, yeah, you stick around and you, you do whatever come like whatever is offered to you do everything. I put more effort yeah. into other people's shit than my own. God damn. You, you truly do. Yeah. Yeah. Which I get because it's, it's hard to like turn off that section of your brain where you don't try. No, it's not. No, I want to impress. What? I still feel like fresh meat around these parts. I get the idea to want to, but that's natural. Yeah. But, you impressed yeah. me on the sit down podcast. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I turned into a monster. <laughs> Dude, you were just I wanted an analytical, to cause, I wanted to beast. cosplay as like a pseudo intellectual yeah, like, podcaster. I was just regurgitating buzzwords and things I saw on Reddit threads. But it was fun. I had a blast. I like playing different characters and trying to try out different personalities. I mean, you made the bold claim that the Murdaugh dad was fucking the dead son. Which, yeah, I still think that is not, I think that's plausible. I think um, Alec Murdoch has traits of somebody who would groom kids. And I think that his actions after the death of Stephen Smith um, would lend to the fact that he could be um, either a groomer, someone who fucks his son and his son's friends, or someone who- I feel like there's a more, there's a stronger word than groomer there. Stronger? Pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that or I, I truly believe that he um, was responsible for the death of Stephen Smith. I think he would if he's the type of guy that if he found out that his son was fucking a guy, he would resort to kill. If he kills for reasons just to gain sympathy points, he would kill for that reason, too. So I think Alec Murdoch has more bodies and I think he is the only true killer in that family. End of story. Wow. Heavy. I don't know. Well, probably, why don't you play some music? Not. Yeah. Probably not. Well, can I send it to you to play on? Sure. Okay. Oh, we... wait. Yeah. You want to play through the headphones or something? We could do that at the end then. Can you guys uh, help me with some news yeah, jokes? Do, there were some good the ass let's topics. The there were some good headlines, but I just couldn't think, think of the sum. You got mold on the brain. I got mold in my brain for sure. Um, it's like the corner of a bathtub in there, which makes no sense. Um, Saudi Arabia approves 13 new jobs for women. And one of those jobs, private drivers, sickening, using women as golf clubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You don't need help. No, I'm kidding. No. Uh, this is a step in the right direction for Saudi Arabia. Uh, but there are still clear cut careers just for men. So from here on out, I'm starting the movement called get women in he jobs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Soon, even Saudi women will be allowed to be doctors or they'll be allowed to murder journalists. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is some where I need help. Because that's the only one I wrote this before I got real moldy. Um <laughs> Like cool runnings, but on skis, Mexican biathlon team wins hearts at competition. Mexican skiers, Saudi women drivers. What's next? Olympics for. Oh, babe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Special Olympics is adding a dunk competition for the upcoming games. Uh, the competitors will think it's opposite day when they hear people say they have ups. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> um a podcaster saved a boy and his brothers from being abused by their adoptive father i uh, must have sent them a better help promo code yeah <laughs> yeah which would work yeah actually yeah. BetterHelp got in trouble for sharing people's personal like medical data are we still affiliated with them let me check yes no i'm kidding <laughs> no, <laughs> no shit yeah i was gonna say yeah we're not we're not we're done we're done with them yeah <laughs> I don't know what cool shoes are. Every raffle I enter, I get it immediately because they're not hot. Cool. You don't. You, so you can't. You can't tell what sneakers are co actually I, cool or nope. not. I don't know what's hot. You just go back. Go by what you like. 
then I wouldn't be getting fucking Nikes. So you're you're like buying clothes and wearing clothes that you're like, I don't even like this, but I think I'm it's buying cool. them, not wearing them. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> because I want to be hot. I want I want to know what's hot in the sneaker world. And it's just like that app should tell you, like, you better enter. You better enter. I missed I missed one today. Fuck. I don't know. Um, I really need some help with this one. John Wick four star Donnie Yen reveals the changes he requested to make his character less of an Asian Asian stereotype were approved. Uh, he was he's a char- he played Ip Man. He's he's one of my favorite martial artists, uh, Chinese man. Yeah. He uh, his character in John Wick four was too stereotypically Asian. Um, hey, this is a recent film. It's not out yet. OK. Um, I guess his name was like Chang and he had to wear like the, the collar and everything. But he requested for it to be changed and they were approved. Mm-hmm. I'm bummed. I was hoping he would have the line that was like, never trust a man with two names. John Rick. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> and then Lizzo has added a second leg to her upcoming oh, North no. American tour. Lizzo added a second leg to her upcoming North American tour. She's Pan American. Yeah. What? What's that? I don't know. Is that where you think I was going with this? What? No, she's going Pan American. Yeah. She's <laughs> frying pan. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, yeah. yeah. Frying pan, pan American. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Huevos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lizzo has added a second leg to her upcoming North American tour. This shocked me as I figured Lizzo would be losing a leg soon, not adding. <laughs> yeah. Type two. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I, yeah, that's what I got. News. It's fire. I, I was a really bad yeah, one. Please. It. It's terrible. Good. But I enjoyed writing it. Uh, Twitter insiders say we can't protect users from trolling under Elon Musk. People are calling Musk to take action to which he responded publicly. Why are you mad, bro? One does not simply stop the trolls. What are you doing? What the fuck? <laughs> it's so it? bad. Wait, wait, do it again. Do wait, it again. I thought from the, the top, from the top. Okay. <laughs> All right, I, gotta, I, I don't know I gotta if you lo- want this. I got to lock in. I got to lock. Yeah. Okay. Twitter insiders say we can't protect users from trolling under Elon Musk. People are calling for Musk to take action to which he responded publicly. Are you mad, bro? One does not simply stop the trolls. <laughs> I was it's like two OG memes. I knew it was bad. Oh, I don't know memes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know memes. Oh, you don't? It's no. hard to tell because that's, I, that's I something he would say. Yeah, exactly. He yeah. would speak back and meme because yeah. people are mad that people are trolling and he responds back with a troll of like a meme from 2008. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I told you it was going to be bad. I'm yeah, I think it would be better... In in photo form or text, yeah, probably. The problem is that he's like transcended almost being made fun of. I don't know how to make fun of him. I don't. I don't think I've ever made an Elon Musk joke because he his his existence is become so like synonymous with bad memes. But he's you can't even make fun of him because he does such a beautiful job of it of himself. Uh, I just thought of our anus TikTok, Mook. Your next show. I want you. To, I want the clip of you doing that joke in front of me. <laughs> you have to. Yeah, you have to do that. You have to do yeah. that. Fuck. How you guys doing um, tonight? Yeah. Friday. Ugh. I'll start off with like a news joke and do that. People are gonna do that. Like yeah, a, do that joke. If that happened here, because I I also think that we we aren't like the mainstream audience. I think you could get some chuckles, some hearty chuckles There's out of that. No shot. You may <sighs> say it again. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> This dude's gonna be need better help soon. I will. I will do it. Get off your phone, dude. Experience the world. Yeah. Exactly. <sighs> nah, I'm in therapy. I'll do a Friday show. I have a show Friday, so I'll I want that. I want that anus. I want the, it to be the anus clip. God. Okay. Mm. You're brave. Yeah, I don't care anymore. I gave up, dude. I got the itch. To, I want to do it again. With well, no fine. brainer. I texted you. I know, but I'm not doing it this Friday. I got. I got. I'm, dude. I'm just filled with mold. We get to pass the. Okay. Mo- you pass the mold or die from it and then do the stand up. It's a no brain. You're a loser if you don't. I'll say it that. So All right. I'll lock you in. You're All a loser right. if you don't. Cool. If you don't do it again. Okay. 24th and 31st. We'll see you there. Yeah. Ooh. Don't put me on the uh, graphic. I won't. Cool. No. That's too much pressure being on the graphic. No, I did Coconut think of the TikTok I want to do today. Spicy meat. 
Spicy um, meat. So, Kyle, let's uh, the TikTok we're going to do today. You guys can. What are you? Are you <laughs> doing? Memes? Well, people who say memes out out loud, it's the worst. I coil up like an aneurysm. Like, oh, <laughs> dude, I. Oh my! I just cook up spicy meat. Yeah. What meme was that? Guys who just acknowledge that they do memes and say that word out loud. We work with a guy that goes by memes. He's he's funny. Yeah, multiple. He's cool. We have multiple memes. Chicklets memes. PMT oh memes. wow! Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just become like it's like being a like a like a knight. It's like you, memes you, have devolved into like you. Uh, you really have to get internet culture. I, I used to love in college, like the rage, rage comics. Yeah. The forever alone guy made me laugh so hard all the time. You remember forever alone? No. Yeah. He was the crying face. His, he kind of, his head was kind of shaped like quagmires. Your boy quags. I probably, if I, yeah. Glenn's. Yeah. If yeah, you yeah, saw, yeah, you'd yeah, recognize yeah. it. I randomly just thought of, that I was like, oh, I have a Tumblr. And like Tumblr was in the news because they, I think they reallowed porn. And when they disallowed porn, the, the website crumbled. But then they were back in the news because they're like, oh, we're going to bring porn back. I was like, damn, I wonder if I can still get in my Tumblr. I went and looked at it. It is a collection of some of the worst memes, the things that I were into. I was really into the the Walking Dead Carl ones. I remember those. And yeah. I never watched the show. It, yeah, it, I, it was bad. <laughs> the fuck Dude, was that sound bite? It sounded like a phone dog. vibrating. Yeah, Jesus the corral, uh, the husky smiling when it tells a bad joke. Oh, uh, no. Ugh. I never liked Philosa Raptor, the raptor that just gave philosophy. Yeah. Was, those suck. Yeah. The impact top bottom text. Nah, not for me. You're, you're telling me you've never seen this meme before. Yeah. Yeah, but Plenty that's also like a pretty common sentence. I've seen the picture. We don't, yeah. Yeah, verbal memeing is hard. I'll go back. To Whoa, he said. <laughs> He said one does not simply. He must be Boromir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what? Right. yeah. Dude, what are you from fucking Rohan? <laughs> <laughs> he said one does not simply. Is this dude, yeah. is this dude killed by an Orukai? <laughs> and you do look like bad luck Brian, kinda. Oh yeah, I've gotten that a bunch. Yeah. I've gotten that a bunch. No, you don't. Bad luck Brian is hideous. We're going back Say, to like, back, like, back to back. Like, exactly. Paul Murdoch is hideous. I told you that something the craniofacial structure of them, it's not. You do look like them in some ways, but there is a, a, a staunch divide. You, you did genuinely come up to me like yesterday or today and was like, you know, like I'm I'm being serious when I say like the facial structure is different. I was like, I know, I can. Yeah, I felt, yeah. I, I, I mean, um, I'm serious. Kyle, when I first got hired at Barstool, he was like, one thing that's kind of weird. Dudes are going to send you your lookalikes all the time. I was like, nah, it is probably all, five yeah. times a day. You mm -hmm. get it so often. Even I, I get it face. a lot. Yeah. But I'm tired of that. I see him in his glasses, kind of like a strawberry blonde beard and a hat. Mm -hmm. um, the ones I like to see. And maybe if we could pull up this image uh, for the YouTube audience. Somebody sent me one today. OK, it's a tattoo artist. These are the ones I like. Tattoo artist, right? He's it's me. And, and when I get it, it's yes, it's wait, you. That's something I'd be tagged in a lot and I would not bat an eye. The crazy thing is, Kyle, he's sitting next to you. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, that's me. God. Yeah. That's me with the, the same posture and everything. <laughs> that, it's, I wouldn't so wear those olive one, green pants, not those trousers. No, but the, that's a good looking the ones guy. That are me and you are the ones that are really blow my mind. There's there's several that are Yeah, um, we've gotten a lot of me's and you's, and those ones make me chuckle because what are the odds of that? Yeah, I posted one of there's there's so many duos. So like statistically, that is so Im almost impossible for yeah. two people together to look a lot like both of us. I, and I actually posted one with no caption. This was like two years ago. Was it those guys uh, at a Knicks uh, game? At or an a Islander game? Yeah. Or a hockey game. And my ex-girlfriend replied for the first time in years and was like, did you get those pants at Lulu? <laughs> it, it how in the fuck is a brand so big and expensive when the brand is called Lululemon? I just bought a pair of pants from there. That's two cats or three cats. Lou, Lou, and Lem. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's two to three cats. Two to three cats. It, yeah, it's it's a stupid name. It's, and it's so expensive and I don't get it. Sorry. <laughs> I don't fucking get it either. But did you, were those pants from Lulu? It wasn't me. <laughs> it didn't even look like me. Yeah, it looked just <laughs> like us. 
It did. But like standalone, that wouldn't be like a head turning, but like together, mm -hmm. funny to see. Um, oh, the TikTok we're going to do today and post with your, it's, I'm mm -hmm. thinking of, you're going to walk up to me and just be like, yo, what are you listening to? And I'm just going to be like, Oh, this video that you're doing right now. And then it's going to get real like introspective, Ooh, yeah. and, like real like Meta. collapse in on itself. Uh -huh. Like oh, when mirrors, it. when you put a mirror in front of a mirror. Yeah. And then it's going to, what's the, I mean, what's the outro credit song going to be? Mook's Clues. Is that what? what? Yeah. <laughs> what's that? I'll, I know it. My latest mix? Yeah. Mook's Clues. <laughs> that's, that's the picture of it. Okay. <laughs> you got the yeah. Murdoch. He's the yeah. Murdoch. Yeah. Um, Mal, do you know if I can plug into this or should I just play it out loud? We, we can save that for the outro of the podcast yeah. and we can get into I want to react to it right now, though. Or is that? Well, yeah, we're three. I three yeah. Four. What do you want to do? You guys. Let's it? use it as the outro. We'll okay. talk about it a little bit at the end, but I want to. What's three, three, four, Kyle? Three, three, four. We're back to Alabama which um, they should be in some type of sequential order based on geography. I like it. We're back in Alabama, Southern Alabama, Montgomery, Auburn, Dothan, pretty inconsequential area. Modern day, historically, different story. Famous people from Montgomery. You probably know them. Can you think of any? Uh, from, from where? Famous people from Montgomery, Alabama. Uh, we have. Do we have a president? Uh, Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks. Was that right? Yes. What the fuck, Rosa Rudy Parks? That was a shot in the dark. Why'd you just close? Why'd you just bend your laptop? No, Why did you just hide your laptop? Did you Google? You go. You clearly Googled it. But I Googled Montgomery. That was the most blatant. Yes. No, I Googled Montgomery. I just guessed Rosa Parks because there's something about Alabama. Yeah, there is something about. Yeah, yep. I don't really yeah. want to. Cool for knowing that. Um, yeah. Um, uh, but, but I don't get Rosa Parks. What do you mean you don't get the Rosa cool Parks? kids sit in the back? Top of the bus. five rider or a bottom five rider. <laughs> Depending on how you look at it, like how. Yeah. What don't you get? The, uh, the back of the bus, is a cool spot to be. It's where Jamie Varner sat on ours. That makes sense then. Yeah. But I think inherently being told to go to the back of the bus. Oh, that's where he yeah. makes it uncool. Right. Yeah. OK, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to be in the back of the bus and be cool? Or you want to be in the front and be ugly? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be ugly, do you, Rosa? Yeah. 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 Um, she was in the back of the bus, ugly. Like a back of the bus, like a like back of the bus, like a Steelers fullback. There it is. There we go. There it is. Nat King Cole. Okay. Jazz. Yeah. Guy, but not a, not a woman. No. Um, six point. One million monthly Spotify listeners dwarfed by Odessa's 6.2 million and Megan Trainer's 36 million. Trainer's so, pulling 36? 36. Who else is from the Montgomery area? Octavia Spencer. Not to run, not to one up Rosa Parks. She starred in Fruitvale Station. Yeah. Yeah. A more tragic transit. I've accident. never seen it. Yeah. What's it about? Mm -hmm. Uh, Michael B. Jordan gets shot at a at a subway station. They could have made it a picture, I think. <laughs> they could have made the movie the just whole, a picture. That was the whole movie. It was good, though. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, when a movie could be a gif, that's when you yeah, know. Yeah, it could have been a that. gif. Yeah, Bart Starr. This is, the, historically, Montgomery is a top dog. Bart Starr, Super Bowl champion for the ones and twos. This is a person. This one struck me. And react how you would naturally. Martin Luther King the Third is a person. He is a living person. Still alive. Still alive. It's Martin Luther King Jr.'s son. Martin Luther King Jr. is probably the most famous man. You think? The fact, what I'm saying is Martin Luther King III should be very well known. The fact that, do, you, do any of you know him or anything about him? I know his, who his dad is. His, yeah. da, his dad is a federal holiday. Yeah. <laughs> well, no one knows who he is. His name is Martin Luther King III. <laughs> What's he look like? He looks like he, he, has a, he looks like a bus driver. 
be like a goofy bus driver that's tenured and like his McDouble flies in the air every time he hits a speed bump. Look at him. Um, we can go to his Instagram. He has like 90,000 followers, which is terrible for being Martin Luther King the third. Yeah. Um, his handle is. Is he official ML King three? <laughs> Got it right here. Mm hmm. I assume he's his the, hairline is in the, the the on his neck. He's verified. Oh, he does. His have hairline a, is on the he's, he's on the back of his mind, like an old teacher's name. <laughs> is look at that. It, it starts on his neck. His barber acts. <laughs> oh, his was, barber is like square or circle. Dude, this this guy's got a built-in travel pillow. This is the, <laughs> Martin Luther King. Wait, are we, the are we third. Roasting? I mean, not. I wasn't even planning on it, but <laughs> this dude, his scalp is one percent hair. <laughs> Ninety nine bald, like Jay Crowder. <laughs> Got a Norwood fifty hairs in the back, like it's racing a tortoise. You know the drill. Um, but I went to his Wikipedia and I found one subsection that really struck me. <laughs> this is about Martin Luther King the third. Which it, again, this is insane that this is a person. <laughs> <laughs> what, there's so many avenues, buildings, things named after this person whose son is still alive and should be way more famous. Wikipedia. When he, box parentheses, Martin Luther King III, was eight years old and only in the third grade, he began to endure racial comments and insults from a white boy in his class who also happened to like to draw. When he approached the boy and complimented him on a drawing of his, the harassment uh, ceased. So you're telling me that there is another third grader who had a traumatic existential incident involving drawing. Talking about Macklemore? You're talking about Macklemore, <laughs> which is one of the most unique phrases, stanzas, lyrics ever created, ever produced. A third grader who had a traumatic incident about him being like, am I blank? Because he could draw. It also happened to Martin Luther King the third in third grade. When I was in third grade, I thought I was racist because I could draw. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Um, okay, enough roasting him. Mayor. I went through the top five most populous cities in this area code. They had nothing. I mean, what do you want me to do in this situation when the, the Instagram posts are either non-existent or the same suit? I went to the sixth largest city. It's Enterprise, Alabama. Um, the mayor is William E. Cooper. And his Instagram handle is the longest handle in mayoral history. History. I think it's the longest handle that Instagram allows. It is William underscore E underscore Cooper underscore Mayor 2020. That's, <laughs> that's just insane. If you look at the text on the top of his Instagram page, the text is is longer than the average micro penis. His handle could anatomically fuck. It is 26 characters. It's like an alphabet. It's three underscores like an albatross. His Instagram <laughs> handle is so fucking long and his Instagram behavior is even weirder. He's a full blown <laughs> schizo poster. Let me let me lay out the background for this mayor. He won the election on August 25th, 2020. Oh, this post is insane. <laughs> on August 21st, 2020, four days before the election, he posted seven Teen straight <laughs> times completely nonsensically <laughs> repeats out the wazoo no <laughs> captions nothing made sense the first three he, 17 straight posts for this old dude and he's goofy <laughs> like, he, I love him I love him look at him so he banged out 17 like Seinfeld he's got the Costanza <laughs> cut <laughs> Costanza cut sides of his head look like servings of caviar that's a throwaway but uh <laughs> So the recent three are the same screen cap of, of 2,000 word bullet points. It's like a capstone presentation on just his achievements as a mayor. It is, it is nobody's reading that. It is the most wordiest Instagram post ever conceived. The next post after those three is just the Troy University football schedule. <laughs> To a tune of two likes. That's not the hometown team. They have their own mayor and their own city. And then it's the standard election campaign poster. Six likes. He's doing shit for likes. He's getting less likes than a Valley Girl podcast clip. Fitpick. 
which is also August 21st. There's a fit pick. Everything's August. And, and he, lo- he and this is my, this is my favorite mayor visually that we've done yet. <laughs> he's the best. It's not the best I, yeah. we've had. Look at he look at him. He's got a magenta or is that boysenberry suit jacket. <laughs> um pale yellow dress shirt. Jersey plates, a brown tie like a blazing, extremely ornate turquoise patterns and brown slacks, a whopping weirdo color scheme here. The boysenberry suit jacket. He he looks like a movie star in that. Okay. Then he just goes back to the same campaign poster. And then he posts. This is all in the same day, day. Mind you. One of the most scorching candids of him walking down. It looks like a convention center. <laughs> it's so lobby. good. <laughs> convention center it's lobby. So good. Mid expo, while taking a phone call on the thinnest smartphone possible. I don't know what that is. His trousers go up to his sternum. <laughs> Look at that. Tuck. He's a high tucker like Tanya. No white girl. A lanyard with a loose hook. That's wild. Forgot to attach his credentials. Oh, it's an empty lanyard. An empty he's lanyard. Wearing an, a nobody's raw lanyard. ever worn a, yes. nobody's ever then, worn a lanyard raw. But no worries. He has credentials in the form of a CVS receipt of multicolored <laughs> Boy Scout badges randomly sewn on the side of his jacket, just saying achievements that he's done as a mayor. And then the next pick is the Troy football schedule again. <laughs> no <laughs> caption, dude. And it's in the form of a photo dump. But this was all the same yeah. day. And then in the same photo dump, he's he's posted, he's <laughs> posing next to a comically oversized campaign lawn poster hoisted up by uh, pieces of wood. The His belt is squeezing the life out of his lungs. He's got a pulmonary <laughs> disorder. He's got the Walter White tuck. He's got the crispy white Ralph with the Zonto green stripes. And then the next picture is just two random bystanders not posing for a picture. He just snapped a pic. One like. <laughs> he passes the heat check. Get his numbers up. Get this his dude numbers is up. Not, yeah. I don't think he cares. I don't, I don't, he doesn't know what he's doing. But uh, yeah. Oh, he is the best mayor so far. His Instagram yeah, and he is posted, about to go nuts. Yeah. Wow. He just hype pe- him up. He yeah. Just pe- <laughs> He's an old has, head's uh, old head. Picture of him standing behind a woman, and then it just has a, a looks like a, just a text that says Myra J. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Myra <laughs> no, J. No, no. He has the electronic billboard poster that's you could count the pixels on one hand. Um, yeah, so you know, blow up his likes, his comments, DM him if you have to tell him we want more pictures. You stop posting. Um, so William E. Cooper. His campaign slogan is may the works I've done speak for me. Works well. Right. He's got some crazy ties. Mm-hmm. Sequel to Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is a good Instagram account. Yeah, he, I like this guy. And uh, apologies to Manitoba. I forgot their area code a few we- a couple weeks ago. Um, I won't make it up to you. I won't, I won't do Manitoba. You're not going to do Manitoba? No, just, no. I need to get back into it. I'm actually way more social if I'm fried. Really? I really? can't do it. Yeah, no, I don't know why. It's weird. I get I like way more it. social and I need, I can't sit still or like I just get really active works i gotta get back into it yeah i've been doing it and going for walks in manhattan and like gawking at things that i never appreciated in my four years of living here that's an all-time pastime is the is, yeah is, the first time that hit i was like oh my god and yeah, this just, is such a and i would stop and take pictures i have pictures on my phone of manhattan i uh when you brought up that um uh, you having videos of you being high on uh the mushrooms that you bought mm. from the bodega uh, you made me film you as well, and I found those. What what is on that? Yeah, it's you just standing, and you're going. Your vein is real big in your neck. You just go. This isn't right. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. Um, if you want to replicate that experience that I had, which I would say was mostly negative, but yeah. there is definitely some positive aspects to it. I if you want to replicate, I that. bought a shroom chocolate bar which you can get in New York city. I don't know where else you probably online if you're not from here and it, it melted in my pocket and I just, I kind of just ate some of that melted goo, just three um, pieces worth, which is the equivalent of a microdose on the label. And that's what did it. So 
It's like that same story of the kid that ran from the cops with the acid in his pocket. He turned into orange juice. Always turned into orange juice. Did you guys have that rumor in school? No, I never yeah. heard that. Yeah. Kid was running from the cops. He was selling acid and it was in his back pocket and he ran through this yard and the sprinklers turned on and it went like his skin absorbed the acid. And now for the rest of his life, he thought he was orange juice. Oh, never. Yeah, heard I thought that. he was in a closet, thought he was orange juice. <laughs> the rumor we had was that if you do acid, it like stores it, it in like, your back and your back. And if you crack your back, you start tripping again. Is that not true? I don't know. I always believed that fully. That can't be true. I don't know. Um, I want to hear your song, Kyle. Okay. Rip it. What's mm -hmm. it called again? Mook's Clues. What was the And is that a play on like blues clues? I'm gr the more we like, now I'm like rapidly losing confidence in how good this song is. <laughs> But you went in thinking it was kind of a hit? I did, in the moment, I did. Ready? Mook's Clues. Mook's Clues. Legends, beasts, bosses, pimps, hosses. Uh, very sorry, but we cannot play KB's mashup on Apple or Spotify due to copyright issues. If you want to hear his mad, crispy mashup of the week, please go to our socials on Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. Enjoy the rest of the pod. Thank you. Still the splice app. <laughs> be honest. Could would that be able to be played at a function without being people being like, "What the fuck is this?" Uh, I think two thirds no. of it. What could. did Malasek? You probably know, not, probably not. What do I need to improve? It's very choppy. It's choppy. It is choppy. The um, middle transitions I thought were actually very good. Some of the transitions I, I really enjoyed, but yeah, I can the tell hey there was one. a lot that were just non no like flow. just no flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But I mean that could be your trademark. But like if you're hanging out with your friends. <laughs> yeah, but it would people would be like, well, this they wouldn't they'd be like, This isn't actually, this isn't this isn't <clears throat> right. Yeah, it wouldn't be able to be played out of function. Let's put this right. to no. So my if, goal is to be able to for it to be played in the middle of a function and people to not even do anything. Let's test it this weekend. Is that up online somewhere? Well, it's too. This is too choppy. We got to. We got to. No, but I'm back. saying a listener can play this at their function this weekend. Yeah, yeah. And you could see the reaction. I got to. Yeah, I got to start a SoundCloud. <clears throat> yeah, we need to. You need to field test it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the hey ya transition was very good. But there was some heat in there. Yeah, there was. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll work on it. Was that what was that the what was that Indian song? Yeah. Oh, that's my one. Oh, that that transition could use some work. Yeah, that was a, that felt like being like a slap yeah, in the right. Face. Yeah, there was a lot of mixed. Um, I feel like it was a, a lot of those could yeah. be spread across multiple tracks, but you crammed it all and you put a, a, together a greatest hits album. Right. Yeah, you go quick. I, I thought I had a good intro with another <laughs> one of Mook's things with like this me answering a phone call from my mother after six butt lies this is reaching Wait, a, this is reaching Kim? an uncanny this is <clears throat> this is bad because now i'm not trying to make the songs funny i'm trying to make them actually good Dude, and no. that's a problem no it's not because if they're good that's, that's even more funny you're trying to make them good with my sound bites in them i'm surprised you haven't been a sound bite in a song already i have yeah what yeah yeah yeah. Where? One time it was like yeah, SoundCloud a... mashup. Mm -hmm. and Fuck I, yeah. I fucked up. I told KB I was like, I was expecting more people to mix me in. Remember when <laughs> yeah. I was like cocky about it? I have a feeling he remembers. <laughs> I wanted that yeah. to be like a kind of like a, a homecoming reveal. Yeah. I wanted you to be more like excited. I was pretty were, I was yeah. pretty pumped, but I was also like cringing in my head because sometimes I listen back to those and I'm just like, oh fuck. You know. I watched. I went through all of them oh, to, to, to get sound bites. They're not none of them. They all are good. Thank you. Yeah, just like your mashup. The mashup sucks. It's just not. It's just not. I'm not ready for it. I should be like do. I should be in the fucking laboratory perfecting these, making them not choppy, and then I shouldn't be forcing these upon you guys. You're not. I really it's, enjoy I it, and it's, it's awesome to see your stupid. growth. It's stupid that I'm trying to be a fucking DJ. You're fishing right now. I'm about so to, hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put your leg up on the chair. Yeah. It's just, tell it's me how no. dumb I am for wanting this, for chasing my dreams. Yeah. It's so stupid of me. <laughs> I probably won't. Do you think I can get a Grammy by 35? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, probably, man. Um. Dude, probably not though. <laughs> <laughs> the 
get, you can't just, you got to learn a new app. You can't be doing this in the video splice app. I know. But I, to your, I think if he does make it big, that would be a fun piece of lore where he's like, he made it all this way on his Wikipedia. It's like with only using his iPhone app. It's like, it's like a, it's like a, a cool way of doing art. You like don't, you don't use nice equipment. Yeah, but it's we'll probably still never take off. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, right? I, I think you're accidentally going to make like a viral song. Like, I think like, you're, yeah, but probably not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 he's running the triangle oh, offense on us right now oh my god um can you do the ad what do we got it's the one i put on your chair what the fuck why do you fuck, oh, so it you says it's that. so delete big that. at the top <laughs> delete that i keep thinking that's a like a heading you gotta delete it all right <laughs> you think the heading just says factor for some reason okay it's, 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 it. meal, it's meal season. We're talking about factor. So fuel up fast. This is ready to eat and nutritious meals delivered straight to your door, leaving you time and energy to tackle everything on your to-do list right to your door. And you're not paying extra. Factor is America's number one ready to eat meal kit. This is number one, and this is statistically true. It is the number one ready to eat meal kit that helps you save time and eat well. Skip the trip to the grocery store. I can't stress that enough. That is the worst place to be, the most frustrating place to be. Um, skip the chopping, the prepping, the cleaning up. Because Factors Fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is eat and enjoy. It doesn't matter who you are if you're looking to lose weight, if you're looking to maintain weight, if you're looking to bulk up, if you're looking to just enjoy food. Factor has delicious flavor-packed meals to help you live it to the fullest with keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie options, protein plus options on the menu each week. 34 different chef prepared, 34 chef prepared options. It's more than Baskin Robbins has flavors, dietitian approved weekly options. There's always something new to try. This is fun. This is exciting. It's healthy and it's good food. It's very good food. And not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but the meals are ready faster than restaurant delivery. Super fast. Head to factormeals.com slash KB50 and use code KB50 to get, this is crazy, 50% off your first box. Usually these codes are for 15%, 20%. 50 is insane. Head to factormeals.com slash KB50. I said it on the yak. Um, it might be tough to convince the other guys. I want to be guest. I want to be a guest on a podcast so bad. Josh Potter, I was like, being a guest it was it would be fun. We're hard. Right. We're yeah. Hard, you were, I mean, you were a guest, I guess, today. I know what you, it's, it's a lot more fun and it's a lot better position to be in. Yeah. So if anybody has a podcast, I want it to be the yeah. smallest podcast. Go on one. We'll hop on. No, we will hop on. We'll hop on one and that'll just be our episode too. Can we do that? No. Okay. <laughs> 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 you, you just want to put it out on, uh, on ours? Yeah. So like bring our ads and everything? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, so we, let's do that. Let's make sure we, we go on someone's podcast. Actually, we could use the week because uh, I've got a lot of nobody awards to sift through. Oh, shit. I have a great one that was sent by TJ. I have some good starts. I, I'm, I'm close to getting it. It's, it's a long process. So we, we were not putting it off. We were just, we, we are putting it off, but we're not, we're not, not doing We're it. doing, yeah. making sure it's, it's done a, right. It's tough. I have all of the trophy bases. Um, and I, it's a YouTube, TJ sent me a YouTube account, 17 subscribers. Fuck you. Good. Ooh. You found gold? Gold. Well, that could be part of the nobodies too, is you go on and do content with them maybe. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a good idea. But I want to do that soon. I got the itch for some reason. Yeah, let's do it. Fine. We could find some. It is way more fun. Yeah. And then if we're bad, they're just like, oh, that's the host's fault. They yeah, didn't, they didn't get saying, they yeah. didn't get the best it's out the of the right. It's the right position to be in. Yeah. It's Closing out. We should honestly stop doing this podcast and only be guests on shows and put them out on our feed. That could work. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think that could work. Let's try it for a few weeks, maybe a few months. And then if it does, it, if it starts losing steam, we can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh. I'm uh, I'm really struggling. Yeah, get take the day off tomorrow. 
But the problem is that if he takes a day off, his leisure place is what's killing him. Yeah, I stay at home and that I walk in, dude, and I immediately get tired. Um, get a hotel for a day. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah. How are you going to eradicate the mold? A lot mold? of cool hotels in Manhattan. I need to prove York. that I have mold first. Well, it, regardless of it's, if it's mold or not, it might be something else. It's something. Something's killing Yeah. Me. You can go to my apartment in Philly if you want. You still paying for that? Oh, yeah. What? For how long? Through June. Jesus. Oh, Wait, fuck. what? You're paying two rents? I'm paying two rents, dude. And you're working for me? That doesn't <laughs> add up. <laughs> Kyle, how much are you paying him? Dude, I got people under me paying double rent. Whoa. Damn. No, that can't be. How? How do you do that? I saved money. Nice. When I was an accountant. Yeah. And yeah, just burning through it. But yeah, it's open. So if you want to go hang Why out. aren't you trying? Why haven't you said that earlier? Just like we have a decent sized audience. Maybe somebody in Philly wants to look for a place. It's with like two of my best friends that I've known forever. So I don't want to like throw a rando in there. You know? You oh, should I rent, it out, rent it out to like high school kids for a night to, to have parties. Airbnb, not- Airbnb for high school kids is a good business idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm smart. If you just says, I feel like you don't want to be supplanted in the friend group. No, no, they're like, I'll be friends with those guys forever, but it's like, I would never do that to them. They wouldn't do it to me kind of situation. Mm. I'm a good guy. Yeah. Are you still tight with your college friend group or? Uh, a few of them. Yeah. Um, it's hard to see each <laughs> other. But yeah. You know, my problem is that whenever my friends come to visit New York, you're kind of expected to know cool spots. Yeah. And I never do. Because I, I just, always, I don't really go. I always do, panic and pick fucking. I do the same thing every single time. Fish market comedy show. I show them not, where 9-11 happened. <laughs> yeah, that, that works. You Those, did that to me when I came up here to visit. Yeah. Fish market comedy show showed you where 9-11 well, happened. Your, your best put on ever is Doyer Street, Chinatown. Hell yeah. That is the coolest alleyway in the world. Yeah. And I didn't even realize that the history is, but is a murderous history. Didn't know that at all. Get a, yeah. a, a, Ch- Chinese gangs, murders, like brutal murders on that little alleyway. There's a post office, which is cool. <laughs> yeah, that alley is really dope. Yeah. Chinese tuxedo. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Peaches. There's a fight club there. Really? Yeah. Like, what, what do you mean? I don't know what could be getting lost in translation. <laughs> <laughs> a couple people brawling. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> um, all right. I, I have housekeeping if you want it. Yeah, by all means. Uh, we brought up uh, or teased the dad episode a while ago. Uh, Winoy on the pod, I think, would do great. And No, uh, my dad's that. doing Bobby Bones next week. He says... Yeah. What's Bobby, what's Bobby Bell? What is he's that? a bigger podcast. Oh. <laughs> Your dad got a bigger podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Yes. What's it about? God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. I don't, my sister's a super fan of this Bobby Bones guy. He has a big podcast. I've never listened. Um, and I, apparently my dad's going to do go on for a segment. So he got a guest appearance on a pod before you. I don't. I think it's bigger than I think it's pretty, very big. I think it's a big podcast. I don't know anything about it, though. But he, he's going on. God damn it. Yeah. Next week. We're not Fuck. big enough for Winoy. I'm surprised. I thought your dad was going to get in a little hot water this week. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, well, I had a, we started a sub family group chat to be like, yeah, that he's got to be careful. <laughs> so my sister's like, what the? <laughs> your dad. Dude, was, dude, if your dad got canceled, it would be the funniest it, thing. Which he world. might. As soon as I read Jackie Chan, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> And he didn't delete it, did he? He's, no, he's protected under parody law. He's, parody he's also, law. He says he says everything he tweets is is from a satirical character. <laughs> so if it's racist or whatever, it's it's him mocking that type of person. I saw that one and I gasped. Yeah, my sister sent it to me. She's like, "What is Dad doing?" <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Dad, Dad. <laughs> yeah, it was a matter of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, Danny Conrad started to get a little public. Uh, there was a video of him. He didn't deny hooking up with Ice Spice. It was before she was famous, so I don't even know if she was going by that. True. So I don't, I, I don't, I don't quite get why she's like the hottest thing. I don't know why he's acting weird about it. Yeah, I mean, he did. He says he only made out with her. There's no way. Which is, it's not that, it's not that crazy, Danny. It's not a huge milestone. She wasn't famous at the time. Yes, she's attractive. Good for you. You kissed an attractive girl, but she it was not the world 
famous superstar. And I feel she like he's on now. our side. Like we're not trying to hype him up. We just think it's like it's no, funny. it's it's a cool story. So stop like just embrace it. Yeah. Uh, potluck check. Any more potlucks? Oh, I stopped it. That was running me. That was blowing my. <laughs> how much money? Negative. How much money have you spent I, on potlucks? I spent too much on it. Over I, a grand? Because the no, no, no. But this is TikTok donations. <laughs> uh, too much. Can you do one right now? Yeah. It might bring me back to health. Did you see World of T-shirts? Like somebody caught him talking about getting pussy in the back of an Uber. No. No. What? It was him and that weird guy. Oh, that guy is strange. And he was like, we're going to get pussy tonight, right? And he's like, yeah, we're going to get pussy. I was like, ah. Oh, wait. They, they, he's, uh. That guy's like 55. Yeah. Wait, who's this other guy? I don't know who it's that is. It's some guy that's like also a fan of New York history that goes out and drinks with him. Yeah. And he always tries to look hot in his videos. He's with like him. a scion of a hot dog dynasty. And <laughs> he just uh, is constantly chilling with world of t-shirts like this old man is just going out to bars with world of t-shirts live streaming himself with uh josh to get more views it's a weird situation i'm i'm ready for some good deeds with your money man okay rudy how's anything good what's going on with you oh nothing much chilling uh me and Nick played a game developer simulator that everyone went nutty for. Yeah, it sounds awesome. Oh, it's one of the most fun games. Yeah. I recommend it. Nine bucks on Steam. You get to be a game dev in your basement and you're just making video games. It's a game about making video games. And what give is is it is it hard? Is it complex? No, it's it's hard so to like there's a lot to do. There's a lot to learn. No, oh, it's easy. It's it's like the perfect level of like stimulating, but so simple. It could very well be an iPhone app. Easily. It's 2D and then it is difficult to like predict what how well a game is going to do yeah um my favorite part is just naming the games naming the games is the fun part exactly yeah yeah i mean we made a few we had i made a spy game borg. i made a, a spy borg was good it was a spy a cyborg spy i made a game where you're a mad scientist it was called test tube one genesis uh-huh um it flopped commercially and financially yeah uh the only perfect score game was mine and it was a stroke of pure luck and that was lincoln's revenge what if booth missed yeah um, so you get to you have you get to come up with that yourself. That's more of a role playing aspect. But you come up with a name, and then you decide like what style of game you want it to be, and what then you system, what system, and then you choose like how much you want to put into the graphics, how much you want to put in the story mode, yada yada yada. But it's like just perfect. So yeah, we will have a YouTube video breaking that down because people really wanted yeah, it. That's going to come out this week. Dope. I made a typing tutor that you could only play on a Dance Dance Revolution pad and a steering wheel. Oh, this sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> What did you hear? What did you say? <laughs> you don't listen to me at all, man. That was a you test. You a typing tutor in a what? A typing tutor game. With it sounds real. That's what I'm saying. It sounds realistic. Yeah. Go on, be a philanthropist, would you? Yeah. Maybe I'll be a philanthropist too. I'm going to donate. Do, you do it because I would keep doing this and people think I have more money than I do. I have, Well, right now I have 5,600 coins. That's the equivalent of over... $80. Give it all. I'm going to give it all to <laughs> one person. Hopefully they're... How do you find out who's live right so now? I go to the live tab and you can scroll down. We got this guy doing pull-ups. No. Let me put my Somebody phone with very on. few viewers. 71. Kelly Keegs is live right now. Oh, <laughs> 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 there. <laughs> oh, Kelly, shit. Should I? <laughs> give Kelly 50 bucks. Yeah, give her a potluck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, where Kelly? Okay. What is she talking about? She's, she's cutting an onion. Okay. I don't, she probably doesn't know intern Troy. She has mine. no idea who intern. I'm gonna Troy. give her the most I can. <laughs> Hold on. No, I kind of want you to give it to somebody who needs yeah. it. Yeah. There. Are, can you give her like a buck? I'll give her. Uh... <laughs> Oh, she's talking about streaming. I'll give her a chicken leg <laughs> for 10. Okay. How much is the chicken leg? It's only 10 coins. To figure it out, especially when everybody's giving me conflicting answers. Uh, ideally, all I do is buy a PS5 and a camera, and I can just do that. I feel like she's not going to acknowledge. I feel like people, I feel like that's not an option, though. So we will see. Is this how you buy coins? I'm about to spend 100 bucks on TikTok. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Our Wi Fi, dude, has been so bad. What is it that we're making? Come on. Uh, beef and cheese 
Okay, well. She's not. I gotta get. Did you pay her? I gave her a chicken leg. That's it's not a lot. I just spent a hundred bucks on TikTok. God I don't even it. think she's even looked at the phone. Look at her spice cabinet. How do I pay her? She's got so many spices. What do you? I'll give her a. <laughs> I'll give her a motherfucking kite for two hundred. <laughs> Gifts. She's locked in right now. Okay, I sent the kite. Oh. The kite is two hundred coins. <laughs> she's ignoring your kite, dude. Yeah, she is. <gasps> Wait, she's leaning. I'm gonna send a bigger one. <laughs> Kyle. Oh, Kyle. No, oh, yeah, no, it's fuck her, right? We'll go to the next one. Yeah. Damn. Damn. All right, I have a hundred dollars to See, give. That, so this this is what would happen to some people who would have only like ten views. They just wouldn't acknowledge it, and I would freak out That's and have to keep doing it. It's oh, this crazy. chick is just has her kind of cooch yeah, out. You do it too. She has her cooch out. Is a person sleeping? Oh, here's the guy that uh, is with um. Uh, World of T-shirts, the old guy that always tries to look hot. The guy that we were just talking about? Yeah, he's wearing his own merch. Yeah, send him a fucking chicken leg. <laughs> send him a chicken. Where's a chicken leg? How much is a chicken leg? It was 10 coins. All right, I'll send him, I'll send him a chicken leg, I guess. I'm for one, I'm looking. All right. All right. Send him a chicken leg. I'm not meeting Josh tonight. <laughs> oh, dude! Talking about world oh, t-shirts. guilty! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not meeting Josh tonight. Thank me for the chicken leg. No. God damn, he's ignoring my chicken leg. He is rich. He's a he's an heir of a hot dog dynasty. Oh, that so, wasn't a yeah, joke. It's not. Yeah, the chicken leg isn't going to do anything. This is him, right? Yes. Do you see my chicken leg pop up? I'm looking. Here, man. I've been working all day. All right, I've been working hard all day. Oh, Harry, I got him too. <laughs> we oh, yeah. should. Josh's new career is going to be. Oh, World of T-shirts is doing a uh, personal tours of New York I City. I saw that. Yeah. All right, some ASMR. Okay, here we go. Three, three total viewers. Where do you see the viewers? At oh. the top right by the X. I'm going to give this kid. Hit him with the potluck. A fucking big one. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to give him? What are you giving him? Oh, I'm going into four figs. <laughs> I'm going to send him. A magic forest. Whoa, no, no, I don't have that much money. <laughs> I'm, sending him a, I'm sending him a potluck. Yes. Mm -hmm. 3,000. Come on. That's a lot of money. Yeah. This is why I do it. <laughs> this this family doesn't speak English. <laughs> I heard a just a one small thanks. Wait, wait a minute, I've he's African. There was a oh, this guy. I, I might give a hundred dollars to this give guy. It, yeah, you get, see what I'm doing? <laughs> is, is this guy? He doesn't give this. He doesn't give a shit. He's ungrateful. Pink, but that's crazy anyway ah does this guy should i give this guy 100 bucks is that really all he said was that quiet thanks i think it was just a quiet thanks uh the, a lot of these are real horny dude weird all right this kid this up and coming dj like me has 17 20 i'll give him hurry up gotta hurry up why he's not playing Uh, I'll send him a speedboat. 2,000 coins. Uh. Come on. <laughs> I wasn't really feeling that last beat, to be honest. I wasn't really feeling that beat. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> Been there. Oh. What's that? Speedboat. Yo, appreciate you, uh, intern Troy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right back to the garage. There we go. We got it. There we go. Work. 
Just had to find a fellow producer. You need to find a producer tag. Yeah. What is that? Like an you ad know, lib? Metro Boomin. Yeah. Wants yeah. Some more. Pierre, come here. Yeah. Come home. Yeah. I, yeah. I got to find somebody. You need that. Okay. You need someone to differentiate so people know it's you gotta, a TV yeah, You got to do your work. I want it to be, it has to be special. Keep talking. I'm looking. Okay. Uh, what exactly are you looking for? That's a good looking, question. I know what he's looking for. What am I looking for, Kyle? He's looking for someone that looks like him. <laughs> what were you going to say, Mook? I don't know if you guys already talked about this on the act, but the John Rich photo. Oh, yeah. We were oh. at the tungsten meetup. Yeah. We were there firsthand. And when that photo happened, all we did was make fun of him for the rest of the, the night. I think it was the hardest I've laughed in a, maybe a year. Yeah. Just the, the very funny. Um, obviously not what he actually looks like, but how would how would you react if that was you in the picture? Oh, wait, I think I found one. I think the way that John reacted was was correct, where you just. Yeah, well, only only 400. <laughs> yeah, less than 500 viewers. Yeah, make his day. I don't know if I don't know what's he. Uh, right. Yeah. No, he probably has enough. Yeah, <laughs> he has enough money. Oh, what about these girls? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna they're, they're going to treat you like shit and they're going to be extremely ungrateful. I, that's what I want to see. What can I do for 7,000? 7,000? Oh. I have 7,000. Like a hundred bucks? Yeah. Yeah, do it. Give them the most. 7,000 I can give them. Any guesses? Like the a, type of gift? A palace? Oh, I'm giving this old girl. <laughs> this old little chick. I'm going to... Oh. Oh, we'll do battles. All right, I'm going to give away the party bus. Be we're looking for the better thousand. The, the better party. reaction wins. All right, and I bet you I can get a better reaction with less. Seven thousand. Okay. Oh. Energy, please. I want my energy, Reds. Ah! I'm bad vibes. I am. Like, Sometimes I feel, I'm bad vibes. I feel good vibes. Yeah. Yeah. We just got a party bus. Hey. 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 Oh, that's good. Hey. <laughs> Tell the text them the, the amount that's worth. What's that mean? That's my first gift. They're gonna find out. They don't know how much it's worth though. Should I say, ladies, this is one hundred dollars? Well, you can't say it out. You have to. You have to type it in and say that. Say, hey, that was a hundred quick bucks. All right, I'm gonna give this woman. I have five seventy-five. Wait, left. you just said send me another gift. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ooh. it's it's uh, damn. these hoes are predictable. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred bucks for you, ladies. Well deserved. But also, my own yes, yes, no. Can I tell you guys how I did my makeup today? Oh, shut up. I, I, all I had on me was this lip, 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 lip and so I had to use it for everything. My eyeshadow, my... I just gave away a hundred bucks. I just gave away a hundred bucks, up. and I can't survive in my home. Yes. I don't believe that. Maybe I'm at a dollar. They don't believe Maybe I'm at a dollar? They don't believe... They don't even know how much it's worth. That's what I'm saying. They don't see the, the monetary value. It's a thought that counts. The thought that counts! The thought that counts! The thought that counts! All right, all right. That's what you got. You got a thought... Mm. Uh, the thought it's the thought that counts for one hundred dollars. Fuck, I'm gonna skip. Maybe this he meant a dollar. No. <laughs> All right, last one. I'm giving this girl a. Maybe he meant a dollar. Ooh. All right, I'm giving her a dance. How do dancing beaver? Are you giving her a dancing beaver? Yeah. Come on. I'm the only person in here. Well, they just slide. It, it'll look all wavy. Aw, thank you for the bell. Thank you. Um, it does look wavy. Oh. 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 That gift was worth 20 bucks. <laughs> Be a little more appreciative. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Please. I gave them a hundred dollars. Yeah, that was insane. Before I do any of those, 
something that's not going to slide easy and wrap it like three minutes. Yeah, if I'm wrapping it completely in bees, like wrapping it in, in layer uh, of Dude, I kind of, I have to do this again. Three. Yeah, you do. Another hundred bucks? <laughs> I mean, that's insane. I guess I didn't Switch. think of... Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Be a little more appreciative. I am very appreciative. Thank you, sir. I am. I'm not sure what your name is. Intern Troy. Is it Troy? <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm going to. I am going to. Wasn't that enthusiastic still? Yeah, yeah. No. This is not, it's not satisfying. Fuck. <sighs> that, you're like chasing the dragon. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I could see the rush of I want I want to like make these people's days. Yeah. And I'm not getting that. Yeah, la last week was a, a heavy high. With a <laughs> Nick's was so high and then he got sunned. Why doesn't it tell yeah, you the value of what they you give did. it? To? But like why yeah, would no, that's should. a that's a TikTok flaw. They don't tell you the value. Yeah, just an arbitrary. You can't tell the difference between a party bus and a chicken leg. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. It's tough, man. I don't know you. You had zero viewers before I hopped in there. I gave you one hundred dollars. You've never made a yeah, a hundred dollars. And you said it's the thought that counts. Well, they also said that he probably meant one dollar. They didn't know. Yeah. Wait. So, do they get to keep that money? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Oh my god! I just I should not have spent that money. Yeah, that, I'm like kind of <laughs> nauseous <laughs> about how much. <laughs> oh no! And it's so easy just to like Apple Pay and add more. It's a click of a button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all I got. Yep. Bye. Bye. God bless.